Wave News reporter Cedra Mayfield is in Hardin County tonight with more. And Cedra, they are from a very tight knit community. How are people in Glendale responding to their loss? There's lots of disbelief and an immense amount of sadness. It's just been mere hours since the procession traveled across this overpass, transporting the body of Jonathan French to Louisville. Traffic once again moving along the very highway upon which the 25-year-old lost his life in the line of duty this morning. Now, after being briefed by state troopers here in Elizabethtown, we made the trip to Glendale. There, the quaint community has come together to rally around a true firehouse family. As the small town copes with the death of Jonathan, many are also praying for the recovery of his mother and fellow volunteer firefighter Lisa. She is recovering from serious injuries right now at University Hospital. Main Street merchants have been organizing their efforts as well, determined to help out now and in the future. A lot of the people in the fire department and families have been hanging out there today um, due to the tragedy, so we took food over and pies and stuff for them today. And then we asked the chaplains and the immediate care crisis providers if there was anything else we could do, which we did on a monetary basis as a group. Now, I'm told local business efforts will not stop there. Coming up on Wave 3 News at 6 o'clock, why this tragedy is hitting so close to home for so many and how neighboring fire departments are stepping up to help out. That's ahead for now live in Elizabethtown, Sudra Mayfield, Wave 3 News.